Hello everyone, my name is Cheryl and this is Pinay Abroad. And today, I'm going to discuss um, some things that you might want to know and might need when you travel to the Philippines. So, let's get started. Um, when I go back to the Philippines, and mind you, I've been back ever since I migrated here a few times already and stayed there for a long time. The first and most annoying problem that I've ever encountered ever ever since I've you know every time actually I go back is the fact that I have to deal with mosquitoes. I think it's the way I smell or something that's so attractive to it's like an instant uh attracting factor for mosquitoes that mosquitoes like to bite me and my family. So uh if you're traveling to the Philippines and you're from you know anywhere else from anywhere else but from Southeast Asia, you might have this problem. And to uh, give you a quick and um, good relief or repellent repellent uh, options in the Philippines, uh, here's my here's my video and hope it helps you out. Um, of course we have off lotion which is like an over the counter low, um, mosquito repellent product in the Philippines and you can buy for like as little as two dollars for a bottle and another thing that you can buy and I think most effective are these two things namely uh, this insect repellent uh, band uh, usually it comes like two in a box or a package and something like this and the most convenient places that I find these things is uh, Watson's and uh, mercury drug. What is a mercury drug? It's pretty much like Rite Aid or CVS here in the US and Wal Walgreens, something like that. But yes, um, for in the Philippines, uh, find the New Year's branch of mercury drug. You can just uh, type it on the, you know, Google it right now and just type in mercury drug store or um, national bookstore, which is uh, more like a <laughs> more like a bookstore than anything else and they have since they cater to school supplies and whatnot they usually have things for kids when it comes to mosquitoes and uh, besides uh, uh, mercury drug stores uh, you can also go to national like I said and of course there would be Watson's which is I'm sure if you've been to Asia before you might have heard of it and um, of course groceries carry them so for me these are uh, these bands actually are reusable for until a few hundred hours so every time I kind of keep the packaging because usually the packaging is some sort of uh, container as well for the said product and I usually wear one on my wrist and it's not you know it's a jelly packaging it smells very citronella, like citronella, a citronella candle, and yeah. So I want wear one on my wrist, one on my ankle, and that usually works out great for me. Oh God, it's strong. Uh, <laughs> that's why I I can avoid trying to open this product at all unless I really have to use it. And if if this uh, usually these run out fast in the store, especially in the you know. In the rainy months of uh, let's just say July, June, July, August. Um, another thing that I advise you to get is uh, mosquito repellent stickers or patches. Uh, it usually comes in a small box, but when you open the box, this is what it looks like. And of course, it's stickers. And these are the key kitty version ones, but there's like you know non kitty version ones. But you know it doesn't matter to me as long as it works, I guess. So what you do is, of course, it's a sticker. You put it on your clothes. I really advise that if you're slightly like, embarrassed of the little kitty <laughs> prints on it, that you put it inside your shirt, something like the inner side of your jacket or the bottom hem of your jacket or bottom hem of your pants. Uh, inside the bottom hem of your pants. That way, if you, you know, if you walk around with it, it's not that noticeable. So... I guess that's about it. So, one of the reasons why I strongly encourage you to buy these products 
is because, or if you have forgot to, you know, bring your own. Um, in the Philippines, one of the more uh, mosquito-related diseases we get is dengue. And from a person, and I really, and I have had dengue once before, uh, it's not very enjoyable experience. And I know a few video bloggers also that, got dengue fever from other countries in Southeast Asia and it's not really the most pleasant experience. So, you will survive, I'm sure, but uh, it's not really good. A good experience in general. So, yeah. Uh, if you can find, if you can go to a national bookstore or a, a really big grocery or a or a Watson's or, a, you know, a Mercury drug, um, do get them. And if all else fails, contact me, I guess, if you're on YouTube and I'll have my, uh, you know, my relatives send some to your hotel. If you're that desperate for something like that. But yeah, in all better scenarios and whatnot, I really suggest that you get these products at one point. Or, you know, if you have someone picking you up at the airport, have them pass you by the closest mercury drug and ask them for the mosquito repellent bands or bracelets or mosquito repellent stickers or patches and they should be able to hook you up now they're pretty cheap it's like up two dollars no problem so yeah i uh, hope you learned something from this video i'm really sorry that uh, the video this week came in a bit late uh, it's the holidays, and so Happy New Year, everyone, and for those, you know, celebrating Kwanzaa and uh, Hanukkah and Christmas, for me, it's Christmas. Uh, happy holidays, too, and hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any more topics, suggestions that you want to bring up, and, you know, especially when, what do you do when you actually go to the Philippines and experience mosquitoes and whatnot, um, let me know. And, uh, of course, if you have any more suggestions for my future topics of my videos, let me, uh, I would be more than happy to entertain them. And uh, give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Please subscribe. And I guess that's it for now. Mabuhay! Bye!